Miss me? Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I'll be sharing with you my November TBR and just kind of talking about why I haven't posted in three weeks. The short answer is that my vlog just isn't done from October. I'm still reading the books but I'm also trying to read a lot of other books because we have Skoden Readathon going on, I host a book club, and I'm really just trying to get my shit together because I have a lot going on personally. So I'm back with just a more relaxed video and I'll be going over some of the books I'm already reading and want to read in November. I waited a little bit to do this video because I was waiting for library holds so without further ado these are my November hopefuls. If you missed my October TBR I mentioned I am starting to call my TBRs hopefuls instead of TBRs because I just felt a lot of pressure so here are my November hopefuls. I'll have all the information for the readathon down below as well as all of the books I mentioned. Let's get started. November is Native American Heritage Month and it's also Nonfiction November. So if you are participating in Nonfiction November, I have a whole book recommendations video of my favorite queer nonfiction. I'll have it linked up above for you if you wanna go and watch it. For Native American Heritage Month, I'm currently participating in Skoden Readathon, which was created by Kim over at Native Lady Book Warrior. And so all of her links will be down below. There's a bingo board, there's a lot of prompts, and the objective is just to read from indigenous authors. Let's go over my TBR. A lot of these books were from the library, but I actually have started a few, so I'll talk about those as well. The first prompt is to read a book with queer or two-spirit rep, and I already read Free Agent by Robin Cummington, which was an Achillean romance. It was a hockey romance, and I loved it so much. Like, Robin Cummington is probably one of my favorite authors now, and I just want to read everything from her. I am going to be posting a recent reads because I haven't really been reading that much, but once I finish up Hell Follows With Us, I will be making a recent reads video. So look out for that. I swear I'm not gone. I just am reading, basically and haven't been able to make content because my life is in shambles at the moment. The last few months of the year are always so chaotic for me and so if I'm not posting all the time you can actually follow me on Instagram. I am on there daily so if you just need your daily dose of me then you can go and follow me on there and I share what I'm reading and some resources and I also post bookish reels and photos over there. The first prompt is to read a book with queer or two-spirit rep and I will be reading Ready When You Are by Gary Lowensbro. I actually talked about this book a couple of years ago, maybe it was just last year, a couple of years ago in one of my most anticipated releases videos. I mentioned this book but it hadn't come out in the US yet and so it's finally here and I'm so excited to read it. I've been wanting to read this since I heard about it and so I'm really glad I finally got a chance to and I'm really hoping to read it this month. Next is Omel book cover and this is to read a book with red, yellow, blue, or black on the cover and I will be reading The Sentence by Louise Erdrich. I have not read from her before and this is such an exciting book. I'm so excited. This is about a haunted bookstore and if you weren't aware Louise Erdrich actually owns a bookstore called Birchback Books which I actually ordered a book off my TBR from and I am just super excited. I want to just continue all of the spooky reads. This one sounds amazing and I've heard it's amazing so I really hope I get to this. I have it on hold on my Libby so let's hope it comes in on time. Next is to read beyond the lower 48 so this is just reading outside of US authors and so Ready When You Are can also count for this but I'm also currently reading Call Me Indian by Fred Sasakamus, who was the first First Nations NHL player. As you can see, there's a bookmark, so I have started it and I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to just read more because I don't know much about Fred and Sadly, he did pass away from COVID in 2020 when this book was published, which really breaks my heart because as I'm reading the book, it just talks about how just crucial he was in the NHL culture and how awesome he was as a person, that he was fast as a jackrabbit. He was so fast and so I've just been really watching videos on YouTube about him. I'll link one down below if you just want to know more about him but he is a crucial figure in the hockey world and I am so glad that this book exists so I get to know more about him. Next, short story versus poetry and this is to read a short story collection, poetry, or a book in verse. For this I have the audiobook of Ancestor approved which is a middle grade short story collection and it 
is about all of these families going to a powwow. I started this last year but I had a physical copy at the library and it expired. I had to take it back and it takes me actually really long to read short story collections and so I am so thankful that Hoopla has the audiobook so I will be reading the audiobook and listening to it. I'm really excited because I really liked what I read of it last year and this is one of Michelle at Thor Once Another Letter's favorites. They recommend it so much. So if you're looking for more native creators to follow, definitely go and follow them. Ancestors Approved works for the next prompt which is to read a middle grade or children's but I will be reading Pow Wow Day which is a children's book and the cover is stunning. I see this all around on Bookstagram, so I'm really excited to read this one. The next prompt actually really works with the shirt I'm currently wearing. I'll have a link down below if you want to pick it up, but it says I'd rather be reading Stephen Graham Jones. And this prompt is Stephen Graham Jones, Brendan Wyden, and that is to read a horror mystery or thriller. And I will finally be getting around to my audiobook. And I also picked up the physical book from the library of Firekeeper's Daughter. Everybody asks me, have you read this, Alex? It has hockey in it. And I haven't because it's humongous. I just haven't had the time to get around to it, but I really want to use this this month because I'm just so excited and I know it's awesome. And it will also help me with my pop sugar challenge because I'm trying to finish up a lot of my challenges for the year. And I'm just super excited to read this. So you can stop asking me, it's gonna happen this month, I hope. <laughs> and last is the bonus prompt, and that is to read a graphic novel or comic. And I have chosen Rabbit Chase, which I also saw on Instagram. That's just where I get all my book recommendations nowadays. And this was recommended by Storybook Cook. I just saw it on theirs. And this is an Alice in Wonderland retelling with an Anishinaabe non-binary character. It's middle grade. I am so excited to read it. It looks awesome, so I will let you know what I think of it, but I'm excited. It's it's really small, actually. When I picked it up at the library, I was like, oh, I didn't realize it's this small. It's under 200 pages, so I'll definitely be able to get through this pretty quickly and maybe get to use it for the read Indigenous Lit for seven days straight. So I will definitely be able to do that probably towards the end of the month. We'll see. The reading sprints are really helping me. So shout out to everybody that is hosting sprints. If you want to get involved, I'll have all the links down below, like I said, but that is it for my TBR. If you're participating, let me know, or just let me know what book you want to read this month. What is one of your November hopefuls? I just hope to read something because I am not reading much. Hockey is consuming my life and I just have a lot going on and reading is just not something I want to do at the moment and it really stinks. It sucks so much but I'm getting through it. I'm pushing. So let me know how you're doing. How's it going? Because I feel like it's been a while. I haven't made a video in three weeks and that is so not like me. So I'm just going through it at the moment, but definitely follow me on Instagram. That's where I am nowadays, but I will be back with a reading vlog very soon. I have another vlog I'll be doing, like a weekly vlog, and it's themed, so definitely look out for that one. I will see you next time, hopefully very soon. Bye.